A prayer against sickness and disease. It is generally believed that health is wealth. One of the greatest forms of wealth is good health. There are people with billions of dollars in their bank accounts, but because of bad health, they are unable to enjoy it. 3 John 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. So, above all things, God is interested in our health. Sicknesses and diseases are not God's plans for our lives. It is not the will of God for us to spend our days in bad health. One of the missions which Christ came to accomplish was to heal the sick. This was evident in his earthly ministry. Finally, the Bible says that by his stripes we were healed, so that we are to live after Christ's earthly ministry could tap from the provision of his stripes. If Christ was chastised and wounded so that we can be healed, God cannot otherwise afflict us with illnesses. It takes good health to serve God effectively. Sicknesses, on the other hand, hinder people from serving God, even when they wish to. We must, therefore, ensure to pray and secure the reality of divine health in our lives. There is nothing that gives glory to God in the life of sick people. The friends of Job accused him of sin because he was physically afflicted by the devil. Not only are we to pray for ourselves until we find the reality of divine health in our lives, we also need to intercede for faithful children of God who are physically afflicted. The Bible says in James 5 verses 14 to 15, Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up, and if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, for your love and mercy. Thank you for the provision of good health. I thank you, Lord, for your stripes that brought us divine healing. Thank you for going through such rigorous pain so that we would not be held captive in sickness. Psalms 103 verses 3 to 4 reads, Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Dear Father, I repent of every sin that is capable of leading to deterioration of my physical health, and I ask that you show me your mercy. For any time I have not treated my body as the temple of God, I ask for your forgiveness. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, according to your loving kindness and your tender mercies.
Father, I claim the promise of your word in Deuteronomy 7 verse 15, which says, And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness, and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that hate thee. According to the word of the Lord, let every sickness in my body system be taken away. I stand on 3 John 2 that says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Father, I pray that I and my loved ones may live in good health, for I know that that is your will for my life, Lord. I submit my body, I submit my life, I submit every aspect of my life to you. I ask for healing from every sickness that I am battling with, in Jesus' name. And I ask that you may look after my body. Lord, you know if there is any sickness or disease in my body, Lord, you know if there is any sickness or disease in my body, anything that has not been detected in my body. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you may heal me. Your word says in Jeremiah 32 verse 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh, is there anything too hard for me? Father, you are the God of all flesh. Nothing is too hard for you. No disease is too great for you. No illness is incurable for you. And for this reason, I place my health and my loved one's health into your hands. You, O oh Lord, are the great physician. You, O oh Lord, are the great healer. You are the doctor in my life, and for that I am ever grateful. I come against every hereditary disease that wants to manifest in my body, and I apply the blood of Jesus upon me. Heavenly Father, I stand on the authority that you have given me as a child of God, and I stand on the authority of the name of Jesus, and declare that any sickness that my family has struggled with will no longer continue in our lives, in the name of Jesus. I break every yoke of sickness in my life, and I command every seasonal and recurrent disease to cease in my life, in Jesus' name. Romans 8 verse 11 says, But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his Spirit that dwelleth in you. O oh Lord, Cause the power of resurrection to be at work in me, to quicken my mortal body and to revitalize my health on a daily basis. According to Jeremiah 30 verse 17, which says, And I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. I intercede on behalf of as many believers who are currently weighed down by sickness. I ask you, Lord, for the total restoration of their health in Jesus' name. 
as many who seem to be having incurable diseases according to the report of doctors. I pray that their sound and perfect health be restored to them. O oh Lord, even as many that have given up on their health challenges and have spent great sums of money on medications, I pray that the hands of God will touch them for divine healing in Jesus' name. Dear Lord, your word says concerning my service to you in Exodus 25 verse 23, And he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take the sickness away from the midst of thee, Lord. You promised to take sickness far away from me if I serve you with all my heart. I ask that you give me the true heart of service so that my good health can be used to serve in your vineyard, Lord, as you take away sickness from my life. I make a commitment to be faithful to your service. Lord, help me to never abuse the divine health you have given me henceforth. I receive the requisite wisdom to maintain a healthy living Help me, Lord, not to misuse my body, which is the temple of God. According to your word, O Lord, I will spend the rest of my life in good health. I declare that sickness is not my portion, and that the diseases and plagues that are ravaging nations will not come near my dwelling. I thank you, Lord for answering my prayers in Jesus' name. Lord, I want to thank you in advance because your track record is good with me. You are such a faithful God. You never fail me. And you are a God that hears and answers my prayers. Amen. Now that we have made that prayer, I want you to proclaim this verse over your life with me. Say it out loud, wherever you are. Psalm 118 verse 17 I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Psalm 118 verse 17 I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Psalm 118, verse 17 I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Psalm 118, verse 17 I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Psalm 118 Verse 17 I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Psalm 118 Verse 17 I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. <laughs>